Today we have a sutta called uh, Ujjhana Sanya Sutta to discuss. Ujjhana Sanya Sutta is about uh, people who cheat on others, who uh, do not have uprightness uh, of their life, who don't have integrity in their lives as well as uh, as well as uh, what role does integrity play in the path to the Nibbana the ultimate goal of the Buddhist uh, teachings and at the end this sutta deals with the uh, teachings of the Buddha the, the Buddha's, Buddha's idea about the forgiveness, forgiving so it's, it has a lot of teachings uh, inside of the sutta but one interesting thing in the sutta is that these devas, different types of devas. Okay? Let's take a look at of, uh, uh, the sutta. Ujjhana Sanya Sutta. So fault finders. That means there was a group of deities who were always finding fault of others. Now think about it. Now you always think that devas are great. But there were a group of devas, as we talked about in other uh, discussions. Uh, there was a group called Satulla Pakaika, the devas, deities who always um, talk about the good things and who always like talking to good people. But these uh, deities, don't know how many devas, but they were always going after uh, people who uh, they think they want to uh, dig into their. Uh, false that they think maybe they are not false but they think it's a fault. on one occasion the blessed one the Buddha was dwelling at Savati in Jeta's grove Anatha Pindika's park then when the night had advanced a number of fault finding devas Ujjhana Sanya the, the name the Pali name for them is Ujjhana Sanya the Sutta name itself is Ujjhana Sanya too fault a number of fault finding dev devatas that mean there were a bunch of other uh, deities who do the same thing of stunning beauty illuminating the entire jeta's grove the temple approached the blessed one and stood in the air they, they didn't uh, stood to one side of the Buddha. They, they were actually uh, uh, sitting in the air <laughs> they were kind of different than the devas we knew in the uh, previous discussions then one Devata, Jedi, standing in the air, recited this verse in the presence of the blessed one. What it is? Let me read in Pali. Anyatha Santa Matana Anyatha Yo Pavede Nikacha Kitavaseva Bhuttan Teyena Tasatan. Because I'm reading Pali stanzas to make sure that I'm not deviating from, from the exact teaching, precise teaching. The meaning. If one shows oneself in one way while actually being otherwise, what one enjoys is obtained by theft like the gains of a cheating gambler. It's about integrity. Okay? It's about integrity. Another day, with another daily uh, uh, compliments uh, this idea. Yangi kaira tanghi vade. Yang na kaira na tang vade. Akaron tang bhasamana nang patijananti panditati. One should speak as one would act. Do not speak as one would not act. The wise clearly discern the person who does not practice what he she preaches. Now, this is a very uh, generic idea in most of the uh, wisdom literature, as you know, in the uh, in the Sinhala literature uh, poem called uh, what is it called? Lokopakari, right? We find a uh, we, we find a verse like Oa denu parahata tama sammati pihita sita dusarid danandena oa veddan desana banaveni so like uh, when you talk good things to people but you do not follow the same teachings and you like, I don't want to mention who they are but you are like people who are uh, 
not maintaining their integrity. Now, one mistake I found out in the Buddha Jayanti books in this uh, uh, translation, uh, it says that the Buddha said this was, but actually it was given by another devata, another deity. So that was a mistake. Anyway, and then now what Buddha has to say about this idea? Naidang bhasita mattena ekanta savanena va anukka mitave sakka yayam patipada dalha yaya dhira pamuchanti jai no mara bandana bandana sorry bandana he says not by mere speech or solely by listening now this is about dhamma or good things not by mere speech about dhamma or good things no by no solely by listening to dhamma or good things can one advance on this firm path of practice that means mere listening to dhamma uh, mere mere uh, speaking of dhamma will not uh, uh, really take you to the path by which the wise ones the meditators are released from the bondage of mara now we are always uh, tied with the uh, bondages of mara who is mara mara is what we call pleasures that we we, we talked uh, the other week Right? So we are always tied in with the bondages of Mara. Images, sights, sorry, images, sounds, smells, taste, contacts and thoughts. These are the uh, subjects of the Mara. So we are always bound by uh, his uh, fetters. So we need to untie, we need to get out of this thing. Uh, but if you do not have integrity, you can do it. Just by listening to Dhamma. Just by speaking Dhamma, you, you won't be able to do it. Truly, the wise do not pretend, Buddha says. For they have understood the way of the world. By final knowledge, the wise are quenched. They have crossed over attachment to the world. I miss reading uh, the Pali stanzas because it's a long list. Now, what Buddha says is that the wise people, now, Buddha always talks about the wise people. They are called Sappurisas. Panditas in Pali, the good people he call it, he call them uh, uh, Panditas or Sappurisas. They do not pretend. They have no true double life, and uh, they have no way of pretension. And they always uh, talk what they uh, practice, and their practice is what they talk. And and Buddha had a uh, respectable term that was used by other people. Yathavadi Tathakari. Tathakari Yathavadi. So the way Buddha talks, uh, 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 the way Buddha talks, the way he is already into. So, and uh, the way he acts is the same way that he is into, right? Into, into those words, right? So anyway, now, uh, basically, the first part of the sutta talks about integrity. Now, do we find integrity in other suttas? Anyone has uh, come across integrity in the Pali Suttas that you already uh, reading, been reading? Without further ado, I would like to mention there is a very famous Sutta that we know where it deals with this integrity. What is it? Karaniya Metta Sutta. Right? Where do we find out that uh, integrity that Buddha specifically says that integrity is the fundamental uh, virtue of a of of a wise person who is practicing uh, meditation or other good things in order to attain nibbana where where is he, how how did he use that uh, integrity in the pali words sakku ujuja sujuja so uju and suju these are the two these are two virtues what is uju what is suju uju means uprightness now as you know like at the beginning of this meditation, I was telling you we need to keep our body upright because we need that unless you are sick, right? Because if we don't have this uprightness in your body, then you don't have a good blood flow that goes up and down, and then our body is having a hard time, right? The same uprightness should be in our life as well. Integrity, right? If we do not have integrity, then who we become? We become cheaters now in the society across the globe you can you can see that there are a lot of cheaters coming up right 
right? They promise this way, but they do something else. Right? They have a double life, right? Uh, sometimes it's about the relationships. Sometimes it's about their policies. Sometimes it's about politics. It's it's a it's a big subject. But anyway, Buddha says, uprightness of one's life is very important. It's a virtue. Sometimes they promise I uh, will come this time, that day, but they won't show up. Sometimes they say, I will help you no matter what. But when they really approach you, oh, if you had come yesterday, I could have given you, but it's not anymore with me now. And if you come uh, in two months, I will be able to give it, but in two months, uh, he won't make it happen, right? So, such things. Suju. Suju? What is Suju? It's about the spiritual life. Morally upright. Now, I would like to question, do you think you have this uprightness in your spirituality? Now, for example, now, you may wonder about other, your, your other people's good things. Okay? X has a problem uh, about uh, his trust about the Buddha. Some people, some people come, come up with these things. Uh, y has a problem with, uh, uh, with uh, jealousy. C has a problem with anger. Now you, uh, you know, I mean, you, you, you name it actually in your life. But when this really hits you in your life, maybe in your circle of friends, families, but you may not, you may kind of like uh, not do it right away. You take time to do it. Because why? Your, spirituality, your spiritual uprightness, you don't have that spiritual upright. That's why you do not recognize bad qualities of bad bad qualities regardless of the people because you you have conditions to uh, recognize bad qualities of other people in the same way you have conditions to accept good things like when you when you see you, your enemy has a good thing but you won't appreciate that that much but your friend has a good quality you appreciate that person right away that means you don't have that spiritual upright so see, uprightness has a lot of uh, defini uh, you know, things in Buddhist ideas. So Buddha says this uprightness or integrity uh, is very important in the path to Nibbana. So uh, mere practicing Dhamma uh, will not help you understand uh, this real uh, thing called uh, Nibbana. So it's a, it's a must. And then what happens? And when Buddha uh, said uh, this idea to the uh, to the deities who were uh, fault finding, and then th what they did was then now they were uh, they were uh, uh, now uh, going to the next stage of that conversation. Then those devatas deities, having alighted on the earth, prostrated themselves with their heads at the blessed one's feet. Now that means uh, before when they questioned the Buddha. They didn't do that. They were kind of like, you know, they were very uh, prideful about themselves. You know, they were, they just came to find fault about the Buddha. Fault finding their daily. So they didn't respect him. Now they were, you know, they can't help like, you know, staying in the air. And then they prostrate, prostrated themselves, themselves with their heads at the blessed one's feet and said to the blessed one, a, a transgression overcame us. What is transgression? Let, let's talk about it. Venerable Sir, being so foolish, so stupid, so unskillful that we imagine we could assail the Blessed One. Let the Blessed One pardon us for our transgression seen as such for the sake of restraint in the future. Okay. Atako devatayo pataviyan patitthahitva bhagavato padesu sirasa nipatitva bhagavantan Achayo no bhante achagama yata balang yata mulham yata akusalam ya mayang bhagavantan asade tampa amanimha tasang no bhante bhagava achayam achayatu patiganha tu ayatin sangvarayati. Now the Pali word called achaya. Now achaya is what we call in English transgression. Have you ever found out this Pali term achaya? Have you ever found this word, Ache, in your practice of maybe reciting stanzas or suttas? 
you know this stand you know this better than me i guess kaina vacha chittena pamadina maya katha achyam kamame bante achyam kamame dhamma achyam kamame what is it we just recite achy means any mistakes any faults any transgression i'm mean, transgression is a very uh, very uh, formal word i guess when you uh, when you when you break uh, a rule against that legal format uh, when you break something against what it is then you are committing a transgression now the deities say, say that now uh, we have uh, you know we have made a transgression so please pardon us for what i think sangurayati for the future for the future discipline and then what happened then the blessed one displayed a smile those devatas finding fault to an even greater extent then rose up into the air one devata recited this verse in the presence of the blessed one now buddha didn't see anything he he just smiled and the deities thought now he was sort of you know uh, uh making use of what they did to him because these deities came to the buddha not to learn dhamma in the first place just to find fault about something that they said about uh, a person who has no integrity and then what happened they were sort of uh complaining about what buddha did by displaying a smile what what did what did they say achyam deseyantina yovena patiganhati kopantaro desa dosa garu saveram patimuchati if one does not grant pardon to those who confess transgression angry at heart intent on hate one strongly harbors and now these deities misunderstood buddha buddha does not pardon them <laughs> now so they were uh, telling the buddha it is such bad if you do not uh, uh, pa- you know pardon us for us who are apologizing for the thing we did to you the blessed one said achayo che na vicheta no chidapagatam sia veerani cha samedeyum teenida kusala sia if there was no transgression if here there was no going astray and if enmities were appeased then one would be fall the sia so he was making sure that you didn't make any uh, mistake transgression here so don't worry about it and then another deity was uh, reciting another stanza which is very nice kasachayana vijjanti kasa natti apagatan ko sammoha ma padi ko va dhiro sada satu now there was deities thing there is no one in this world who is impeccable who is who is not doing any mistakes they think everybody is making mistakes at at some point but with, this is how they say for whom are there no transgressions for whom is there no going astray who has not fallen into confusion and who is the wise one ever mindful right now there are some people in our society too right when they did a bad thing they going to justify you know everybody does the bad thing so so am i so right so the deity is the same thing right don't worry who is who is ever mindful everybody is uh, uh every so they they were justifying what they did and the buddha said tathagatas buddhas sabba bhuta anukampino tassachyana vijjanti tassanatti apagata soha sammoda ma padi socha dhiro sada gato the tathagata the enlightened one full of compassion for all beings for him there are no transgression so when when someone became the full buddha the samma sambuddha he won't uh, make any transgression at all so you need to understand that you can make mistakes transgressions are generated to everybody so buddha is an exception for him there is no going astray he has not fallen into confusion and he is the wise one ever mindful and then at the end buddha says if one does not grant pardon to those who confess transgression angry at heart intent on hate one strongly harbors enmity in that enmity i do not delight so i am not happy about someone who does not pardon i agree when someone apologizes you if you do not pardon that person 
then you are un-Buddhist. You are not a Buddhist. Thus, I pardon your translation. Now, tang verang nabi nandami patigan hami ochen. Now, now, what are the most important highlights of this sutta? The first thing is integrity. Integrity that means uprightness affects in our path to nibbana. That's the first thing. Not even to nibbana, but also in our secular life, normal life. Number two, it's about uh, it's about uh, it's about not cheating. You know, what are the harmful effects of cheating? You know, having double life. It's a big problem, so we should not encourage us to uh, be a cheater in whatever the aspects. Number three is about, you know, apologizing and then when someone apologizes you, how do you react? And Buddha says, when someone apologizes you, if you are a Buddhist, you must uh, pardon that person in the right way but you may be angry some people say uh, things that that person did to me uh, I could I could uh, forgive but I would not be able to f uh, you know forget that means you are uh, creating more sankharas you know you are creating more sankharas uh, in your deep mind and you are not a Buddhist at that point Buddha says you should find a way to uh, pardon to those who uh, apologizes from you now, uh, deity's thought, these four finding deity's thought, Buddha has a sort of a point where Buddha does not pardon to people for some different transgressions, but, it, but Buddha was not like that. Buddha uh, even pardoned uh, to, to the most enemies, right? The Devadatta, uh, Venerable Devadatta and all these people. So then we have to learn the importance of integrity not being a cheater as well as how to the, the importance of uh, uh, granting pardon to the people who did bad who did me who was who were mean to us so these are the three main things that we uh, want to understand at, at the same time we need to understand about the deities now we always think deities are always good but with this sutta we understand there are deities who are like humans you know some, to some people, they, to some people, some are always fault finding. There was a monk called Ujjana Sanyi at the time of the Buddha. Now he is always fault finding, and Buddha said, "It's okay you, if you think you see a problem, you see a mistake, failure, uh, you see a transgression of someone, but if you're going to take them out of malice, out of anger, just to hurt people, and that's not good." Maybe if you think you can help that person to, uh, you know, make uh, his or her life by understanding the problem or the mistake, failure, transgression, you have to approach that person personally without uh, embarrassing that person. Uh, but if you don't do that, if you're going to say you did a bad thing in public and, you know, you are making that person very embarrassed and your main purpose is to bring people down very malicious, very jealous, very angry, and you are ruining yourself in your spiritual path. Right? So this is what we need to understand. So this sutta called Ujjana Sani Sutta deals with uh, these main aspects. So, any questions? How do you react to someone who is making an apology? Oh, I'm happy. You're happy? Yes. Um, I don't know the correct word though. Um, I, so, for uh, with my uh, grade five, uh, 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 what do you say? With my word set limited to a grade fiver, I, I'm just gonna say I'm happy. Okay. So I don't can't think of a mm -hmm. better word. Yeah. How do I react? But uh, depends on what the translation is like, right? I always accept their apologies. Always, regardless of what the translation is. That's right. Okay, that's a good, that's the best <laughs> best of being a Buddhist. <laughs> yeah. For some people, it's a very hard thing, right? So because 
why did why he said it to me you know this is the problem because we have this big ego why he said it to me because i think too much about me i don't know what happened you know so i don't i don't look at i don't this i don't deconstruct uh the transgression from i me myself concept so we had to de, de uh, construct we are constructing the wrong thing that did, that was done by the other person to us and then i me myself we are connecting those two which is a big problem buddha says every time uh whenever you know that uh, somebody did a bad thing uh, try to uh, cut down on the uh, you know construction of i me myself and that external thing it's hard though good things are hard you know to become angry to 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 be reactive in a, in the same bad way is pretty easy that's not dharma practice and you know when you respect sangha the monks and the monastics you also say uju paripanno so paripanno uju paripanno so they are on to the path which is very integral one path one direction they all heading towards the nibbana so they are not like wavering you know shaky shaky you know they are on the path they know where they are heading to right so that's why i mean for lay people i think they have to figure out how they can achieve this up- uprightness both normal uprightness as well as spiritual uprightness and how they can make these two uh, you know uh, in union and then uh, go that go on that path yeah and what do we do with the achyan kamame bhante achyan kamame dhamma achyan kamame sangha in the in the chanting just just before our uh, meditation what do, what do we do with that may i ask you kayena vacha chittena pamadena maya katha kayena vacha chittena kayena by body vacha by speech chittena by mind out of pamadena maya katha out of if i have done any wrong doing by uh, body speech mind out of heedlessness right out of heedlessness so this is a big problem many people they know dhamma but they are sometimes heedless they are they are delayed in their performing good thing that's why they are in, they are they fall they fall prey to the bad things they know this is bad but they are falling a trap to the bad thing because they are not energetic i shouldn't i shouldn't they have they, they need to have some energy to do that and then achyam kamame bhante if i have done that mistake or transgression towards the buddha achyam kamame bhante bhuri panya tathagata the tathagata who has who has the abundance of the knowledge bhuri panya achyam kamame dhamma may i apologize from the dhamma sandittika kali immediately effective and then akalika what is akalika akalika was meaning of akalika sandittiko akaliko dhamma has no time right it is universal right akalika and then achyan kamame sangha now the buddhists when they uh, when they are going to end the the, the stanzas to offer the offerings they're going to apologize from the buddha and his doctrine and then from the sangha if they have made a mistake achyan kamame sangha if i have done any slight wrong doing wrong thing towards the sangha monastic community i want to apologize from them who are the sangha supatipanna anutta the greatest uh, of of them who are into the nibbanic path see now acche the word called acche is a is a very uh, familiar word for all of you so acche is what uh, the this day is uh, did uh, and then they were apologized from the buddha and then buddha apologized but they didn't expect that to happen they were thinking buddha will will never never apologize never pardon them they want to make a point and then and then want to uh, fall fine about the buddha go back to the heaven and say see the buddha didn't pardon us 
See, these devas are really bad. <laughs> they wanted to uh, find four. Okay, so let's wrap this up. May all the good karmas we've been doing uh, by, uh, you know, uh, offering uh, articles to Buddha, by conducting the Buddha Puja before you uh, observe the five precepts. As well as uh, we did two meditations, breath meditation, walking meditation, and uh, engaging in the Dhamma discussion. May all the good karmas that we've been doing in all these ways be shared by all the uh, rel uh, departed relatives who passed away in the name of all of you. May all the departed relatives who passed away in the name of all of you in this life, in the previous lives, uh, be happy and peaceful. May they all attain the supreme bliss of Nibbana. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Idam me nyati nango tu sukita huntu yate yo. Idam me nyati nango tu sukita huntu yate yo. Idam me nyati nango tu sukita huntu yate yo. Also, let's share all the good karmas with the uh, deities, devatas who protect and bless all of us. May all the deities share in all these good karmas. May they be happy and peaceful. May they protect and bless all of you for good health, long life, and all the prosperity in your life. May all the deities also uh, attain the supreme bliss of Nibbana. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Ittavata cha amhehe sambhatan punya sampadan sabbe deva anumudantu sabbha sangpati siddhya Ittavata cha amhehe sambhatan punya sampadan Sabi Bhuta Anumudantu Sabha Sampati Sindhya Ittavata Cha Amhehi Sambhatang Punya Sampadang Sabi Satta Anumudantu Sabha Sampati Sindhya Aka Satta Cha Bhumadka Deva Naga Mahitika Punyantang Anumuditva Chirang Rakkang Kuluka Sasanang Aka Satta Cha Bhumadka Deva Naga Mahitika Punyantang Anumuditva Chirang Rakkang Tudesanang Aka Satta Cha Bhumadka Deva Naga Mahitika Punyantang Anumuditva Chirang Rakkang Tumang Paranti Finally, let's make a great wish. May all the good karmas we've been collecting so far help all of us to attain the supreme a bliss of Nibbana. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Now the monks will be blessing you with couple more stanzas. Abhivadana silis nicham vadha pachayino Chattaru dhamma vadhanti ayuvannu sukham balang Ayuvaru gya sampatti sagha sampatti mevach Ako nibbana sampatti iminate saminchatu Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Thank you.